institution, tutor, date. In the narrative, a woman restrains herself in her rather large house within a small town throughout the initial half of the 20th century. The town is very remote and the persons appear to cherish this quality, and even most of the lack of development in social change. Moreover, there is a lot of gossips, which frequently circulates with great interest regarding the town's persons. Indeed, the daring comment on Emily, or anybody's, personal life certainly infers that gossip is mainly a day-to-day -day activity for the persons about town. Emily spent most of her life in her house is in loneliness after the demise of her father. It is considered, externally, as being an isol among isols, 716, since it is among cotton gins, which were put up when homes, which formerly lived on the street had then since been removed. Emily's house is the image of decay among the newer houses. This might probably indicate Emily's position within the town or even the settlement's position mainly in the whole world. Alternatively, the existing town is isolated and small, though, Emily has sequestered herself utterly from the town and appears to cling towards her past compared to the town itself. Furthermore, the inside of the house belonging to Emily, smelled of dust and disuse a close, dank smell, 716. Whenever the house's store was viewed by some unusual visitors, it was defined by the storyteller as being, furnished in heavy, leather-covered furniture, the leather was cracked, and when they sat down, a faint dust rose sluggishly about their thighs spinning with slow motes in the single sun ray. Individuals hardly went to the house, thus there is a kind of decay and deadness in it, which appears to equal its proprietor that, looked bloated, like a body long submerged in motionless water. The plot of the story arose for Emily displays the life of Emily Gryason, the main character, with memories of her life peppered between. The story starts with the one learning about her passing, then developing into a narrative, which offers awareness into her lone nature as well as past relations with her family and the Jefferson town. Because of her isolated nature as well as high standing within the society her fellow residents usually gossip about Emily. During the narrative, one is informed regarding her arrogant father, her disinclination to transform her ways and life for the town, and surprisingly her new adoration interest for Homer Baron. Besides, with clues of learning and foreshadowing Emily's past difficulties with accepting the death of her father, the audience finds the narrative ending mainly at her burial with the uncovering of Homer Baron's body kept in Emily's house. Emily did not in any way want to lose Homer Baron, her new love. Therefore, she poisoned Homer and kept his body in her place, allowing her to keep a bond with him although he had already passed on. Emily was judged by the residents for having a romance with Homer, a low class of that society. The subsequent sentence associates town person's reaction towards Miss Emily's only intimate bond. Poor Emily, the whispering began. Do you suppose it's so, they said to one another, page 23. They felt shame upon her love affair since in their eyes there was a barrier of status set up.